Yo guys, Kaiju King 3000 here, and today, let's talk about, I'm sorry, rephrase, let's talk about Ape vs. Monkey, <laughs> Ape vs. <versus> Monkey, <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny, but no, Ape vs. Monster, <laughs> so, believe it or not, I actually watched this film on YouTube for free, and I, I looked at it before I published this video, and it's still on there, so if you guys want to, you guys can still... Like, look it up on YouTube and watch the whole thing for free if you really want to. Which, I guess, I'll say this. From what I from what I saw from this film, watching it for free would be worth it. Well, for free, I mean, like, not like... Like, I'm not... I'm saying you shouldn't go buy it because the film is fucking bad. Watch it for, watch it for free and save your money. That's what, that's what I mean. Yeah, anyway. So, I watched the film and... Yeah, it's it's awful, guys. It's <laughs> it's freaking awful. Like, it it's not even one of those films where it's so bad it's good. No, it's just straight up fucking awful. And I can't believe this remake actually exists now. And yeah, <laughs> like, can you imagine like a, a kid walking to the store asking his mom for Godzilla? I'm sorry, asking for his mom for Godzilla versus Kong, and then his mom sees this and. The mom put, probably doesn't even know shit about Godzilla, so she she assumes this is what he wants. But no, this is not what he wants at all. And this ends up getting him a fucking rip off the film and a shit show. <laughs> Honestly, I can see that happening because look at the look at the poster. It really looks like it could be from Godzilla vs Kong, but it's not. And I can see a mom getting confused by this and accidentally getting her son a rip off film of what he what he what she thought he wanted. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of bad things in this film. There's the characters who are awful, the acting, the freaking CGI. Like, oh my god, guys. Like, So, I will admit, some parts in the film where the CGI look okay. But for the most part, no. It looks, it looks awful. Especially for the ape. Like, the CGI they use for the ape and his the design and the model... Look just so horrible and awful, guys. Like, god damn. Like, I couldn't believe that I actually was looking at that thing. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, if you guys can watch the film and see what the ape freaking looks like and shit, it looks so damn awful. And to make matters worse, they even, like, like they, they didn't even give him, like, a, a good warrior. Like, whenever you have a monster in the film, they have, like, a intimidating war. But, like, for the freaking ape... They literally just use like random monkey sounds as if it fits for the giant ape. But no, it makes it seem so off, you know? Like it, it doesn't fit the freaking giant ape. It's a monster for God's sake, you know what I mean? And it's fucking ridiculous. And also, guys, you would not believe this, but towards the end of the film, the lizard monster, you wanna know what they did? You wanna know what they did? But they actually have stolen the freaking Godzilla War for the lizard monster not for the whole entire film but at one point towards the end of the film when the lizard monster makes a war sound they literally use the exact same Godzilla war from i think it was from the high side series and i was like when i when i first heard that i was like oh my god they literally stole the war from Godzilla now so yeah i that actually kind of pissed me off because i can't believe they actually did that to like like make it rip off is one thing but you can't just go and steal legit something else that you know you'll get caught for doing because these guys actually stole Godzilla's war to use in their content but then again I guess it's I'm not saying it's okay but I know there's some tv shows and movies out there that do use the Godzilla war but still like this is a ripoff like come on now <laughs> and yeah and if you guys were expecting this film to have fight scenes in it it does have one, but it's very disappointing because the fight scene, like, get this, throughout the entire film, there is not a single fight scene at all, and the fight scene only comes, like, towards the last, like, what, six minutes of the film, and when the fight scene does happen, it literally lasts only freaking one minute. Guys, I'm not even kidding, like, the fight lasts one minute, and throughout the whole film, like, the film itself is, like, freaking an hour and 26 minutes. 
And we, we only get like one fight scene at the last six minutes of the film. So we had to sit there and watch all this bullshit and like get treated to get treated to a fight that didn't even look good. It wasn't even good and it was only like freaking one minute long. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like Jesus fucking Christ guys. Like I'm not trying to be hateful, but it's it's I don't know. It's just fucking annoying, guys. Like Oh god, but I guess I guess on the positive side, I don't support the asylum for doing these kind of things, but I guess it's fun to have these films in our life just to make fun of and just talk shit about and shit, you know? So I guess these films kind of play a good part in the whole film world, but still, like, the film is just straight out awful, guys. Like, God. And I don't know why it came out in May, because, like, Usually when ripoffs are being made by the asylum, they try to make it like release one day after the actual film that ripping off releases in theaters. That way they can compete almost on the same day. But this came out in May and Godzilla vs. Kong came out in March. And I think that's because the original release date for Godzilla vs. Kong was supposed to be out in May, I think. I don't know, I kind of forgotten about that because we already seen the film already. But yeah. So, they tried to do the same route with the ape and the girl. Like, you know you know how in Kong films, there's always Kong and a female or just some someone who he connects with? They tried to do that in this film, but it literally does not make any sense at all. Like, so I'll tell you what story. I'll tell you the story real quick. So, the story goes that the U.S. military launched a freaking monkey into outer space... And I guess it didn't come back for like years and years later on. But when it does come back, I guess the monkey came across some kind of alien technology and it landed in the earth. I'm sorry, no, it landed on earth in the middle of the desert and it breaks loose from its capsule, I guess, whatever, and becomes a fucking giant ass ape. And I guess more of that alien shit got loose in the, not, not, not got loose, freaking got spilled some other places on the desert. <sighs> Rephrase. I'm sorry, I'm talking too fast. So the alien the alien shit got spilled in other parts of the desert and a lizard comes in, drinks it also, and turns to a fucking monster. And that's literally how these two came to be. Now, the ape is being contained by these scientists in the, I don't know where they're actually containing him really. It's kind of they don't actually say it in the film. We just assume that it's some, it's just some kind of Russian like scientist base, I guess. I don't know. But there's this one female scientist who I actually don't even know if she even has a name in this film, actually. So I'm going to call her the female main antagonist. No, that's too long. Not antagonist. <laughs> She's the protagonist. But um, the main character of the film, she tries to build a connection with the ape. But they make it seem like they actually already have... I'm sorry, no, not have. They actually already had a connection like for a long ass time. But literally it does not make any sense at all. And the monkey is even like that too, because the monkey seems like they knew each other for a very long time. And like when they actually try to do those scenes that where they try to make the ape and the human connect, it's awful guys. Like so there's this one scene where the, the military is trying to find the ape because it, it broke loose from the scientist base. And the monkey is, like, killing off people and shit, you know? He's killing off the people and just, you know, doing all kinds of shit. <laughs> and the scientist comes in, and I guess she names the ape Abraham, which is kind of stupid. But anyway, she goes, Abraham, and the monkey turns and looks at her. And they try to do it, like, a emotion, an emotional scene of that. But, like, it's the, it's the fucking design of the monkey because, like, it looks so fucking ugly and it's... It looks so awful that I can't believe actually that I can't believe they actually tried to make to make a scene like that emotional and shit, you know, like a connection. But it it literally does not work at all because they made a monkey so damn awful. And <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like, I I can't explain it that well. You guys have to watch the film and see what I mean. But it does not work in this case. It doesn't make any sense at all. There's no backstory or anything like that. They just they just make us assume that. These two have a connection, but literally there's no sense 
it does it does not make any sense at all and there's no reasoning behind it or anything like that you know and that's because it, like i said this is a freaking ripoff of godzilla versus kong they stole the war for godzilla for the lizard monster and then they try to do the same route with king kong with a human connection so yeah guys this film is basically just stealing shit from godzilla versus kong and that's just crazy <laughs> and yeah now i will admit the design for the lizard monster actually isn't that bad it's kind of a cool design like a kaiju like design but other than that that's the only thing i like about this film is that the design for the lizard monster is actually pretty cool and so i never seen rampage but it kind of looks like it kind of looks like that little not not little freaking that lizard monster that was in the film i think her name was lizzie i think i, I don't know I don't know, I ne I've never seen Rampage, but I'm going to sometime soon. But I know there's like a freaking giant alligator lizard like monster in the film that the monkey fights. Or something, I don't know. It kind of looks like that, actually. But, yeah. the At least Rampage looks better. <laughs> but, yeah. And the characters in this film are just awful, guys. They're, they're just awful. And some of, the shit, some of the shit they do doesn't make any sense at all. Like, I'm not going to explain what they do that doesn't make sense because it's an asylum film. So I'm sure you can guess that they do, like, stupid shit that doesn't make sense at all. But it's supposed to make sense. But, no, it doesn't make sense at all. And, <clears throat> believe it or not, this film has fucking aliens in it. I, I know I said earlier ago that there's some kind of alien technology that these guys, like, got injected with or drank that made them turn into giant monsters. But, no, they literally go far ahead to include actual aliens that come down to earth to control the monsters i guess and i guess the ape um he only got injected like a little bit of the alien shit whatever so he can resist the control but it's not that easy for him but the lizard drank the whole thing and so he he's been like fully controlled but the ape is trying to resist it i i guess i don't know but they went ahead and just add this whole alien race that's coming down to earth to control the monsters and destroy the city and they didn't even do that in the first half of the film like they try to like the first half just makes it seem like these guys like just came from, from out of space and just some kind of alien technology just came on earth and made the monsters bigger but they didn't they didn't actually say nor did they build up the fact that there's actual aliens coming to earth and it was just so random i was like what are you kidding me there's actual aliens in this film and I was laughing my ass off because it was so random. Like, they revealed that there's a UFO coming to Earth out of nowhere. But there was no buildup or anything like that. It was stupid. And, God, guys. Like, holy shit. And when the fight scene came on, I was kind of hoping that it would be, like, at least a decent fight. I know it's an asylum film, so it's going to have bad CGI and shit. But a good long fight scene... I, I was hoping for that. And I even seen some better fight scenes made from the asylum from other monster films. Like the film I would say that had a good fight scene was Mega Shark versus Carcassaurus. That had a pretty good fight scene in it that actually lasted for about uh I'll say seven minutes, I think. That actual was satisfied because it was a pretty cool fight scene. But this in this case, the fight scene literally lasts only one minute. Just one minute. And it's stupid too because I guess the ape comes in, he throws a punch, but the li but the lizard bites its neck, and the monkey is like okay for it. He just stands there and lets it happen. He doesn't try to struggle, fight him or, or anything like that. He literally just stands there and lets it happen. And I'm like, what are you doing? Fight back! <laughs> and later on, the monkey, no, no, sorry, the lizard like lets go of the monkey's neck, and the monkey throws another punch. Now it grabs the lizard's neck and it breaks it in half, and that's it. That's it. Like, I'm not even joking, it, guys. This that's actually it for the fight. There's nothing. Like, <sighs> I don't even need to. I don't even need to prove myself about this shit because you guys know that I'm telling the truth. Because this whole thing is made from an asylum and it's a freaking ripoff and a very low budget film. Like, <sighs> I'll be honest. If I saw this as a kid, I actually might have liked it because I know my young my younger self used to like these kind of things. But no. Like, not right now, obviously, but I, I assume maybe if I was younger and I actually saw this film, I might have actually liked it. I'll be honest. But I'm sure as time went, 
I've, as time would go by, I'll find myself not liking it more and more as I do right now. I don't like it at all. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, guys, there's Ape vs. Monster. I, it's, it's awful. The story's awful. It doesn't make any sense at all. You're, you're being thrown information and shit that wasn't even built up, nor is there any reasoning or sense to it. They literally stole ideas from King Kong and Godzilla that actually makes me kind of pissed off because I can't believe they actually did that. Like, yes, I know this film is basically a ripoff of Godzilla vs. Kong, yeah, but the fact that the fact that they stole the war from Godzilla and they tried to do the same human bond route route with freaking King... I'm sorry, no, with the freaking ape like King Kong, that is going a bit too far for me, in my opinion, but... <clears throat> It's the asylum, so what are you going to do, I guess? So, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the freaking film. I think it was awful. Will I watch it again? I don't think so. I can kind of see myself maybe watching it just for laughs again, you know? Like maybe with a few friends, just laugh out and shit. But I don't think I'll watch it again. Nor why I enjoyed it because here's the thing, guys. Too, the film was really fucking boring. Like there was nothing going on at all. Like actually, no. I almost got, I forgot to say, the whole entire film just focuses on the humans, but there's barely any mo- monster action at all. Like there's barely any, and freaking Godzilla 2015 had way more action than this. Hell, even the anime series have more monster scenes than this, and. I know people said that the anime series didn't have like that much scenes focusing on the monsters, but at least that actually has more monster time than this fucking thing. But <laughs> yeah. And what else do I want to say about this film before I end it? Um I think I covered about the whole thing, yeah. It doesn't focus on the monsters that much at all. It focuses on the humans for some reason. Which don't ha- add anything to the story at all, actually. They're just all the humans that are in the story don't add anything at all. They're just freaking there. And none of them make sense to the story at all and shit. And, oh, so here's the thing too, guys. So this is fucking ridiculous. But, like, I guess the monkey is considered a hero for, you know, saving the world from the giant lizard monster. Even though he was fucking destroying shit too and kill people. But anyway, so he was seen as a hero. And what they did... So that they had the monkey stand in front of the freaking American flag and they filmed it and they made it seem like he was an American hero and the way they did it was fucking stupid because the monkey is just standing there like a human just looking down upon you know the world with the American flag behind him and <laughs> I'm like how the fuck did they do that because it's a fucking monkey he won't, he won't stand there at all not only that it's a fucking giant ass ape but he won't stand there at all behind a flag. Not, sorry, no, with a flag behind him. Looking down like that, like a humanoid like thing and shit. Just, like, if you guys watch the film, you'll see what I mean. It's at the end of the film. But it was just the most stupidest thing I've ever seen. Like, uh, oh my god, guys, I'm sorry. And, yeah, also, I will say, if you were a King Kong player, but you were upset that, that, that Kong lost the fight in... Godzilla vs. Kong, then just know the monkey actually wins in this fight. So, yeah, I guess, I guess we're even Stevens now. Nah, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> still, the monkey does win this fight, and I guess he's considered a hero somehow. But, sorry. But, yeah. Alrighty, guys, I think I'm, I think I'm done talking about this shit show. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.